टूडे वील बी टॉकिंग ऑन अ टॉपिक कॉल्ड पार्किंसन प्लस सिंड्रोम सो लेट मी राइट इट हियर पार्किंसन प्लस सिंड्रोम सो व्हाट इज दिस कंडीशन एज द नेम इम्प्लाइज इट इज इन एडिशन टू पार्किंसन इन फीचर्स देर आर सम अदर फीचर्स दैट वी कॉल ए टिपिकल फीचर्स दैट डज नॉट फिट इन द कैटेगरी ऑफ इडियोपैथिक पार्किंसन डिजीज इफ दो एटिपिकल फीचर्स आर प्रेजेंट देन वी लंप दो सिम्टम्स अंडर दिस अम्ब्रेला कल्ड पार्किंसन प्लस सिंड्रोम एंड व्हाट वी हाउ इट इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम इडियोपैथिक पार्किंसन डिजीज इट इज रैपिडली प्रोग्रेसिव रैपिडली प्रोग्रेसिव एंड इट डज नॉट रिस्पॉन्ड टू लिवोडोपा does not respond to levodopa okay in contrast to idiopathic parkinsons disease so what are the disease that falls under this umbrella of parkinson plus syndrome one is progressive supranuclear palsy second is multiple system atrophy third is cortico basal degeneration okay so Let's begin with the first disease called progressive supranuclear palsy. So, as the name implies, there is restricted vertical eye movement, saccades. In addition to that ocular features, there is early postural instability, early postural instability. There can be dysphagia. this are three a okay second condition what i told you multiple system atrophy so in this in addition to parkinsonian features you can get ataxia with dysmetria early autonomic involvement severe autonomic involvement can be here in the form of postural hypotension urinary incontinence or retention okay so ataxia autonomic involvement and early postural instability so in the course of the disease do you see this feature of postural instability early in the disease course so this is about msc multiple system atrophy and third is cortico basal degeneration so here you see there is also cortical degeneration so you you will see cortical features like cortical sensory deficits cortical sensory deficits aphasia apraxia cognitive impairment cognitive impairment dystonia myoclonus okay these are in addition to the parkinsonian features you see these features okay so let's sum up uh, what so far we have talked so i already told you that uh, how it is different from idiopathic parkinson disease it is rapidly progressive and it does not respond to levodopa in contrast to idiopathic parkinson disease which is gradually progressive and which responds to levodopa so under this umbrella of parkinson plus syndrome what are the conditions that falls what are the three conditions i told you first i told you progressive supranuclear palsy second multiple system atrophy third cortico basal degeneration regarding psp progressive supranuclear palsy as the name implies there is ocular involvement with restricted vertical gaze saccades early postural instability dysphagia dysarthria those features can be there second to i told you multiple system atrophy as the name implies multiple systems are involved so can be ataxia can be there can be cognitive impairment can be there can you can see the features of autonomic involvement like postural instability urinary retention incontinence okay and third i told you about cortico basal degeneration 
So as the name implies, there is also cortical degeneration. So you will see the features like cortical sensory deficits, aphasia, apraxia, cognitive impairment, myoclonus, dystonia. Okay. Okay. With this, I like to end this session. Thank you.